Hello and welcome to this first lecture of the new section on managing the placement team. In this section, we will give you an in-depth understanding of how to manage the placement team to meet the goals for your excellence in uh, placements and corporate relations. And in this particular lecture, we, you will learn about uh, the overview of uh, the process that you can use. So how do you think you can make the placement team deliver the expectations from them? Any thoughts? Let's recap the expectation from the placement team to begin, right? So they have, there's a big list of expectation from the placement team because it's a very important role. The first one is to bring new corporate relations to campus for summer and final placements. We saw that earlier. Increase the share of uh, the, uh, your institute for summer and final placements among existing recruiters. Build the relationship with the corporate visitors to the campus or in the calls with them. Call existing recruiters and potential recruiters uh, to stay connected with them. Follow up on the summer internship recruiter. We talked about that to maximize PPOs and you know what PPOs are. Ensure student preparation to convert the summer and final placement opportunities. Organize batch meets to align placement plans and review the progress with your placement office. So these are the expectations from the placement team, right? So do you see that their work is cut out across the three drivers? Uh, they have kind of overall responsibility for placing all the students. They directly themselves go to recruiters to bring them to campus. They oversee that the students are being prepared rightly and they also make sure that students are performing. So it's a role that cuts across all the three circles, so as to say, right? So how can you manage them to deliver these expectations is the question. Any thoughts on this? Anything that you can think of? And let's tally what you think and what I have in for you in the next slide. So basically you need to do a few things. You need to start by ensuring that you have the right team. Very important. I have uh, gone through the process and then once in a while you do not have the right person in the team and that part of the team doesn't work. So you need to ensure that you have the right team uh, in the all the things like specifically in the placement team. Then you need to set in the team and individual goals. It's important to set both. So there should be a goal for the entire placement team as well as for the individual members. There should be goals, right? Then you need to train them because you will have new members of the team coming in practically every year. Uh, if you have a uh, two-year program, you will have uh, students joining in what is called a junior placement team in the first year and you will need to train them. And as they get trained and uh, learn through coaching and seeing and observing the process run by the seniors, they will get uh, skilled to do take this job after a year or so. So the new students need to get trained. <clears throat> Once you have the training done, you need to then review the progress with them. How are they doing uh, to meet the individual and team goals by implementing the training that you have provided them. And then in during the process or after the process of reviewing the progress, you need to review, guide and support the placement team to ensure that they continue to deliver the expectations that you have from them, right? <clears throat> so what do we do next? So having looked at the overall process, what we will do in the next lecture is we will uh, see how can we ensure that we have the right team, right? What are the steps that you can take to ensure that you have uh, the right team? Because as I have learned over these 40 years, having the right people in your team is the most important thing anything, about anything, including the strategy that you have. And this was wonderfully told to me in Good to Great by Jim Collins, right? So take a look at that. So thank you so much for watching this first lecture of managing the placement team. Uh, I hope you're beginning to learn new things again, beginning to enjoy, and I do look forward to seeing you again in the next lecture. If you have any questions, do feel free to message me, drop me a note, and I'll be happy to answer and clar clarify that for you.